You've got to make it clear to him, I don't like this. This doesn't work for me. And don't say it just like that. Express yourself in a calm, loving manner, all right? But do express yourself. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Stefan Labossier, a.k.a. Stefan Speaks, back with another dating advice and relationship advice video. Today, we're going to be talking about a topic that the women have been asking me about. Now, before we get into it, as always, be sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave your comment below. Why do you think he takes so long to reply? Why in the hell are these men taking so long to reply now listen let's be clear yes women do this too let's just get that out the way right now but this video is about the men because this is the question i have been asked so let me also acknowledge and admit that i am i guess you can call a delayed texter <laughs> all right i i am guilty of taking a very long time to reply so i'm gonna give you perspective both from uh, how I feel or why I do it and shedding light on why other men do it. All right. And now one last thing before we really get into it, get your copy of He's Lying Sis. It will uncover the truth behind his words and his actions. I got the link below in the description and in the comment section. You are going to love it. Women are going crazy for it. He's Lying Sis, which will shed some light even more uh, on some of the things that we're talking about today and expand on it, all right? But let's get into it, why he takes so long to reply. So number one, and in no particular order, he's really that damn busy. I mean, listen, and I know, I know, no one is that busy. No one is too busy to reply. Granted, I'm not going to deny that when a man is truly into you, he will make time for you, all right? I don't ever want to contradict myself by saying anything other than that. However, I can also speak to the fact that when a man actually has things going on in his life, his response time is going to be a little bit more uh, all over the place compared to some of the other guys, okay? Because there can be moments where he's not actually by his phone. There can be moments where he's locked in doing work on his computer or at his job and he's not able to respond as fast. Now, I don't want that to simply be an excuse. I do think that if a man is willing to be serious about, not willing to be serious about you, is serious about you and willing to work with you on things, then there can be a structure created that minimizes all these delays or at least puts you in a mindset of understanding what may be bad times for him due to work and so on and so forth. However, it doesn't change the fact that yes, Sometimes the delay is actual busyness. And now let me add this to this point because this is very close to home for me. I know that because I'm so busy and because I have so much going on, that if you text me and you text me in a way that requires a real conversation or a thought out answer, I'm not replying <laughs> because in that moment, I don't have the mental bandwidth, the space to process what you're asking me and to make sure I respond correctly or accordingly to that statement, question, or whatever the case may be. So in that instance, I'm going to hold off on replying until I can gather myself, think it through, and now act on it and respond. And unfortunately, because the day can go in so many different directions. I can literally look at the text in the morning and be like, all right, I, don't, I can't think right now. Let me hold off on this. I'll get back to this individual and then blink my eyes and the whole damn day has passed and I'm just not getting an opportunity to finally sit down and process. Now, if you're a man watching this or a woman who do, who's a delayed texture as well, I will offer this solution. It would be best for us to, in that moment, say, hey, I can't really answer right now. Let me get back to you later. That at least gives the courtesy of acknowledging the incoming text and saying, listen, expect a delay because I can't handle processing this right now. And the individual who texts you or reached out to you has to be understanding of that. 
That is a solution. So I'm not going to just make excuses for it. I'm going to offer solutions, all right? But the reality is that, yes, that does happen. The person is simply busy, all right? Number two, he don't feel like talking to your behind. <laughs> now, listen, I'm not trying to be mean. I, really, I promise you I'm not. But the reality is that, yes, in some moments, he doesn't feel like communicating. Now, again, I don't want to make excuses for behavior that can become very unhealthy and toxic for a relationship. All right, though I'm laughing, I, I, I sincerely want to help make communication better. And again, that man or that individual has to learn how to better communicate. But the truth, if, I'm, if we're going to lay out all the reasons, is that yes, there are times where you're just not in the mood, where you don't want to be bothered, and so you don't feel like responding because again, for many people, they view a response as a, as a welcoming of conversation. It's like, if I respond to this, I may have to be prepared to text a few more times or to, to now get on the phone when I'm not prepared to go down that path at the moment. So to avoid the entire thing, and I'm not saying that's the right way to handle it, but to what that person is processing at that moment is, let me not respond at all, all right? So again, solution. It would be best for the individual to simply text back, hey, not in a good mood to talk right now. Let's touch base later, all right? This way, they can achieve their, their desire to not really have to get into a conversation, and you, the sender of the text and reaching out, can at least be satisfied by being acknowledged and know, okay, they at least let me know they got it. We'll talk later. But it's very important at the, as the person who is trying to communicate at that time that you are understanding when that individual is open and transparent with you and says, I'm just not in the mood right now. All right. Number three reason, and you're not going to like it, but again, I got to give it to you real. Number three reason why he takes so long to text you because he's not that serious about you. Listen, here's the reality. As we said in the first thing, when a man is serious about you, when a man's really into you, he's going to make time. But when he's not, he's going to be less willing to try to accommodate responding and communication and all these different things. Now, I don't want you to simply jump to that conclusion if he has been a delayed responder um, in your interaction with him. I want you to first address the situation. Let it be known that you don't like these lack of responses or how long it takes, all right, and, and see if you guys can get on the same page about it. But the reality is that, yes, there are a lot of men who this is a clear sign he's just not serious. And so if you address it with him, you let him know it's a problem, and he still continues to do it, he don't give a damn. He just doesn't. You know, and, and, and I know that might hurt to have to hear that and accept that, but it's better that you accept it so that you can let go and move on. Because he has to be willing to work with you on this issue. Again, I gave you guys reasons, but I also try to give you guys solutions. And so there are solutions here if this individual wants to really be in your life. But I don't want you to be dwelling on, oh my gosh, he's always taking so long. Why don't I hear from him? Like, no, just talk about it. Just ask him. And that's the other thing. Like, the, the, rather than another reason, the solution to all this is talk to the man about it. Let it be known it's a problem. Again, I know that some of you may say, well, listen, it's common sense. If you're serious about me, then you should be responding quicker. However, times have changed, unfortunately. We live in a very digital world. We live in a world where texting has become more common. And we live in a world where people have become lazier with their communication. And unfortunately, because so many relationships are accepting of the laziness or tolerating the laziness, some people then take these bad habits into new situations, new potential relationships. So their neglect in that area isn't always a blatant uh, uh, disrespect. It isn't, isn't them clearly saying always, I just don't care about you, that's why I'm not responding quickly. It's them not understanding this is a problem because their last few situations allow them to think this was acceptable behavior, all right? You've got to make it clear to him, I don't like this. This doesn't work for me. And don't say it just like that. Express yourself in a calm, loving manner, all right? But 
do express yourself, do make it clear. And then again, provide solutions even yourself. If you're watching this video and you're going through this right now, say to him, listen, if you can't get back to me or you can't have a conversation with me right now, just text me back and let me know. Just give me a heads up. Hey, I got your text. Let me get back to you a little bit later. That at least helps. It may not satisfy the whole situation because again, he can hit you back with that and then still not hit you again for 24 hours or whatever. And that's going to be a problem for you. All right. If it's not a problem for you, cool. But if it is, then that still needs to be addressed. But it gets to a point where you just have to accept, you know what? These men are just aren't sitting. That man. Let me not say these men because I don't want you to project this on all men. That man in that specific situation may just not be serious enough about you. And if that's the case, so be it. Let him go. Move on. Prepare yourself for bigger and better things. All right. So those are some of the reasons why he's taking so long to reply. Now, I'm going to throw some stuff out there. I don't like doing this. I really don't. But I'm going to throw it out there just for the sake of keeping it all the way real. So let's talk about it. Here's some bonus reasons why he takes so long to reply. He's in a relationship. Now, again, I, I, like I said, I am not trying to uh, paint negative pictures in your head and, and, and pour this, this kind of mentality uh, into you. However, it's a reality. It, it is a truth. But again, it's not what you should jump straight to. You should not automatically assume just because a man has not responded quickly that that means he has someone else. But is it a reality that that's what happens in some situations? Absolutely yes. It does. It does. I can't deny that, all right? But again, even if that's the case, then you addressing it and trying to find ways or, or offering up or suggesting ways on how we need to improve, well, if he's in a relationship, he will not be able to improve. So you don't really need to get to the bottom of, does he have someone else? You have to first focus on, can he correct the behavior? And if he corrects it, we're good. Well, at least, I mean, hopefully he doesn't have an actual relationship, <laughs> but we're good if he can correct it, we can work with it here. But if he has one, he won't be able to correct it. In most cases, he won't. He won't. And so his 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 exposing himself will be through the fact that he is not able to improve on the behavior that you have deemed a problem for your relationship with him. All right. So I just want to throw that out there because I'm not going to lie to you. It was hit in my spirit and I felt like I needed to say it because it's real. And some of you are going through that right now. But again, talk about it. Um, address the issue in a calm, loving manner. Offer up the suggestions. All right. Be understanding but create better structure of communication. I think for a lot of people, the struggle of communication is due to the fact that there's not enough proper structure. And what I mean by that is, if you are dealing with a busy person, or you may be a busy person as well, when you guys can come to an understanding that, you know what, during these times is our time to talk, all right? Outside of this, we're a little bit more flexible because we understand there's work, there's this going on, but if if we both work nine to five, maybe we agree, all right, listen, from eight to nine, that's our time. And it may not be every single day, but you find a structure that works for you guys that allows it to be healthy communication, satisfies your need to bond together and to be in touch with each other, but is flexible with each other so that you guys can tend to your other obligations as well. All right. So I hope and pray this was helpful to you. Again, as always, leave a comment below. Why, why do you think he's taking so long to, to reply? Be sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you in the next one.